today on Divorce Court. I cannot trust Santoy because he, he lies to me all the time. We do have a big trust issue. Things happened in the past that we can move forward from. I do feel like Santoy is living a double life. He's so inconsistent with his actions. I'm not living a double life, it's just life. I think he wants to just do what he wants to do, but keep me tied down because he don't want to let me go. Fatima, I want you to calm down. Quit accusing me of things until I trust me a little bit more and just talk about what we're looking for and what we want from this relationship and move forward with it. I need the judge to tell Santoy, get it together. You're gonna lose this woman that you say you love, that you wanna marry. Man up, come on. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Fatima Davis and Santoy Thompson. The two of you have been together for three years. You have been engaged for the last two and a half, but you can't quite make it to the aisle. Uh, Ms. Davis, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me about your relationship and what you're looking to get from me here today? Okay, well, Santoy and I, we met five years ago. I was pregnant, he approached me at a barbecue, and he talked and he kind of just swept me off my feet. But uh, since I was pregnant, he, you know, we kind of went our separate ways. A year later, he came to another barbecue and he found me again. And from that day on, we were inseparable. Um, three, about three months into it, Santoy got caught cheating. A woman called my phone no. one night. And, well, I was, we were supposed to hang out. And um, I was blowing his phone up all night. He never answered. And uh, I finally went to sleep. In the middle of the night, I got a call from this woman. And she's like, who are you? What is this? What is going on? And I'm like, uh, I was like, um, who are you? I'll call that, Your Honor. I, I, I'm going to give you an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't know because he was asleep. But she was in the bathroom. And she said, well, I will call you back. And she calls me back in the morning when they wake up and they're arguing, tussling and fighting. And then from the, she, then she called and we became like best friends sort of for a few weeks because she called me every day with everything. She spilled the beans. She ended up living with him. He had moved her in, hadn't said anything to me. I had all my intuitions wondering like, what's going on? Why has his actions changed? Why has his ways changed? Everything. And he had already been proposing. I asked one of my family members, could I marry her? All the while, set up in a house with another woman. Yes. And then Not you true. were talking to the other woman. Yes. Did you tell her he had proposed to you? Yes, I, I told her. And her response was what? She was crying. And yeah, I, I mean, it was like the voice kept replaying in my head every day. She was crying mm -hmm. and she was going off. And I can't believe this. He's done this before to me. And I'm like, what? Mr. Thompson, what, yes. is, what is your version of those events? I don't recall none of that. None of that happened? I don't think none of that happened. None of that happened. When you first started dating her, within the first three months, were you still engaged in a relationship with somebody else? Not, not, not really. It was like a, more of a... We was going our separate ways at that time, too. So, you, so you, you were easing away from that other woman yeah, and easing yeah. your way it, over it, there? Over there, yeah. Trying to so get over you there. Don't, yeah. you don't have any recollection of an argument between the two women that upset, upheaval. Nobody came well, to you. Well, if it was an argument like that, it had to be over her because she is just... She probably called and tried to find out some information and the girl answered mm -hmm. the phone or something. Okay. But no. it wasn't like that. It was like a... She was a friend. She stayed with me for a minute, you know. And, and I didn't know. He didn't tell me. Can I ask you, Ms. Davis? Three months in, he's acting a fool like that. Why keep him? You know, I, I, I left. You're, you're right, you're right. I did leave, I did leave, I left. And what he would say is, I did engage in a relationship. I was so, like, heartbroken, and I felt like he was so perfect. Like, within that time, he did everything perfect. He, he swept me off my feet every That's day. That's called my... game. <laughs> no, it's not. That's called game. I was into her. Well, let's move on. I want to know what happened about the Valentine's Day cruise. Oh. oh. So, going, going forward, we're supposed to be, you know, uh, being together and trying to get it together, and um, he's talking about this cruise. Him and one of his relatives are supposed to be going, and all this, so... Um, a couple of months later, I see, I'm like scrolling through Facebook and it's this one girl he has a nickname for. He has like his hand on her butt and they're like, you know, like a couple and everybody's commenting on the picture like, you guys look good, you guys this and that and the third and like I kept it, I kept it in. I didn't say too much, but I was just like, then I kind of just sent it to him. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that devil's okay. Facebook. What happened when she sent you that Facebook picture? <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, it was just a picture, though. It was just a picture. We but off were the... you on a cruise with another woman? No, not, not necessarily. Now, let me talk to you about this here. <laughs> now, the family... Either you were on the boat or you were I was on the boat. I was on the boat. But I wasn't necessarily there with her. Not see, necessarily. That's right. Were you now, living it? Were you in the same cabin with her? No, I wasn't. So nothing, nothing was amiss. There was no, no sexual not, activity. It was nothing like nothing that. Nothing that you couldn't, you, you couldn't wasn't share like with that. her. Nothing like that. Did she lose her mind when she found out that you were on the boat? Yeah, somewhat. Uh, she's, I don't think she, she shouldn't have been nosy. Tell you the truth and going on somebody else's page. That's somebody else's page. So now, Mr. Thompson, look at my we've been page. talking about about you so far. So let me ask you about her. You say that you can't get engaged because she breaks up with you. Every other week. Every week. Explain weekend. that to me. If I don't call her, or if I, we just, you know, sometimes I don't answer my text or something like that, or if we just have a miscommunication, she'll break up with me. I won't hear from Fatima a couple of days, three days. Ms. Davis, do you do you break up with him every time you yes. have an argument? I break up with him all, <laughs> yes, because I have insecurities from the beginning. From the beginning, he started this. He placed this. I, I didn't believe anything was wrong with this guy. I thought he was so perfect and everything until this woman put all this in my head about him and then he continued to lie about everything, make these lies. Uh, no, she didn't live with me. No, she... OK, but she sleeps in your room, her and her daughter. How would... I understand what's going on here, clearly. Yeah, I understand yeah. what, what's she going on here, clearly. Everybody besides now, me. I, 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 I want to change my focus a little bit from the past to, to the desires of the future. Oh, my yeah. understanding is you're trying to get him to move in with you and he just won't do it. No. So I want to figure out what's going on with that. What, what does she wear that you find inappropriate? Well, she's not all that tall already. Them heels got her looking like she's kind of a little taller, but she's really, really short. But see, when she put these little short mini dresses on, soon she bend over like that. It's all out it's there. Out, it's there. It's there. You want some time to just let me see that. Right. Not that everybody. So, Ms. Davis, you were telling me you've been trying to get him to move in with you for a couple of years, but he won't do it. Explain that problem to me. Since, since the beginning, I've been saying, let's do this. Okay, when your lease is up, the first time, your lease is up in June. Okay, lease comes up in June, nothing happens. He helps me move out, but he doesn't move in with me. <laughs> then I move, I move in to my grandmother's house to kill time. Baby, let's look for a place. Let's do this together. Let's do this together. Nope, no. He tells me, you can use my name for a place, but, you know, put it in your budget. Now he says, well, you know, he, he moved in with his, his, uh, one of his family members, another one, in the process of it. And I said, well, you know that I've been trying to... Well, you know, I'm, I told him I would help him out and I would do this for him, blah, 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 blah. I said, well, I'm your woman. You don't want to be here for me and with me, but you're going to move in with this family member when I'm supposed well, to, and I've been asking. And I got you. Mr. Thompson, what would you like to say? Now, see, with that, this is how it goes. We have been sitting there trying to get in the house to hang out together, but I have family members who had certain medical issues that needed help. So I stayed there with them. She know it. She know it. Yeah, but it, that wasn't... That's Ms. Both, Ms. Ty Ms. Both Davis? Both, both times I had to sit there and help my family members. So that was okay. I did that. And it, it, it lasts for about a year or so. And now I'm helping my other family member now. See, you know, they, they got little issues in my family. We all got issues. So I'm helping them out. <laughs> I'm helping them out a little you bit. You can't even <laughs> stop laughing at you. If the stories are so bad, you can't keep a straight face. So I'm, I'm helping him out now, you know, so that's all. And I told her how long it might last. It might last a year. Okay. So what's I, wrong with that? I, I got I got that. Ms. Davis, you believe there's also some difficulties as a function of the fact that there's a 15-year uh, age difference between the two of you. Why do you say that? Well, first of all, he has a problem with the way I dress. Mm -hmm. He thinks I dress too sexy, too... Short dresses. Short. Uh, but I told him, look, I'm, I'm 32. You're 47. I'm going to show what I got right now because it's age-appropriate and it's not too revealing. I can wear a short dress. I can show my legs if I... They got... Show more than your legs, baby. M Mr. Thompson? But I, I'm not, I'm not, I refuse to dress like a nun. I refuse to cover up. I refuse. And then uh, another, another thing. We're in the car. Now, I don't mind Odie's but goodies. I don't mind the Marvin Gaye. The, all, I, don't, I don't mind that. But when we're all at these barbecues every weekend, we have somewhere to go and doing our thing, then I don't want to just always hear that. To me, I want to hear... You know, some rap. I want to turn up. I want to bounce. I want to move. All that cussing. And, and then, it, it, yeah, it, it don't make cussing, no sense. It's cussing. But 
is cussing. You're let grown me, you and ready, you cuss all the time. Okay, let, let me ask you this, Mr. Thompson. Take a look over to your right right now. Uh -huh. You see what, how she's dressed. Do you have a problem with this particular That's right. outfit? That's good. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Now, what 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 causes you to balk? What 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 does she wear that you find inappropriate? You no, know, she's not all that tall already. Them heels got her looking like she's kind of a little taller, but she's really, really short. But see, when she put these little short mini dresses on, soon she bend over like that. It's all out it's, there. It's there. It's there. You want some time to just let me see that? Right. Not that everybody. It's me. I can understand the point. Now, let, 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 whatever. Do you get unintentionally exposed because you're trying to look sharp? Does Not that occur? Again. Not often. <laughs> Not often, but on occasion. On, a, on occasion, so, sometime, and if it's, uh, yeah, sometimes. You have a wound, wardrobe malfunction every once in a while. Every once in a while. <laughs> Majority of the time, I, I'm... You got it together. Yeah. Now, I'm with him with the, on the music. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> after, after it fell out, you know, the temptations after <laughs> that, I was done. <laughs> uh, you know, I want to move on to where you are now, why you're there, the ultimatum you have for him, and also the money you want. I promise I was not snooping. I just get up and get dressed, look down at, the, at my foot. It's a lingerie tag on the floor. Now, what, what, what am I supposed to think when a few weeks before that, there was a suitcase with women clothing and children clothing? It wasn't mine because it was too big. Would you change your style of dress for your partner? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I have to ask, Ms. Davis, why do you want to lock down pain? You continue to believe he has a double life. He's cheated on you ever since you've gotten together. What is the point to attaching yourself on a more permanent basis to pain and hurt? Well, but I... Well, but what I see are the, the positives. I know that... I know that, you know, he was in a long-term relationship, so I know he can provide stability when he was married. He was married for about 20 years. So I know he can provide a long-term um, stability for me and my family and just how he is with my children. He's mm -hmm. wonderful. You know, he, he, when we're together, I'm like his, his world. He sees nothing else but me, nothing else. When we're at home, we, we get along. You know, it's not real bad arguing. I just, when he's gone... You don't know what he's doing. Not at all, because yeah. he won't answer the phone. And so if she don't know what I'm doing, let me ask you, yeah, let, let me ask you something, Mr. Thompson. Yeah. She wants to lock you down. This is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. She wants to bring you in the house, shut that door, turn lock that, that key, key up, and keep and you in there. And throw it away, there. too, huh? Is that keep what... me in there. Is that what you're looking to do? It's just taking me a little longer than expected. But I want to do it. I, I really want to do it. So yeah. you're edging and you're, you're leaning in that direction. You yeah. just haven't quite fallen just, over just yet. Just jumped over there yet, you know? It's, I'm going to get there, though. I'm getting there. She just give me time. I'm going to get there. Is there anything she needs to do to assist you yes, in that yes, direction. Yes, yes, Please yes. tell me what that would be. Just give me a little trust. Just a little trust and understanding and just quit just believing what everybody else say to her about me. But have you earned that trust, Mr. Thompson? I mean, some I, of the stuff that have... she has caught you doing is pretty blatant. She haven't caught me doing nothing. She haven't called me. She haven't called me. <laughs> she haven't called me. She you... just accused me. I know if, if a person calls your phone, that's being caught. No, it's not. Second of all, Every, 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 every Friday... No, hang, on, hang on, Every Friday, <laughs> he's supposed to be hanging out doing something with a family member. By a certain time of night, maybe six, even three, he won't answer his phone anymore. I'm at work. I work nights. So he's not answering his phone. He's a grown man. Why does he have to report? No. He doesn't have to report, but it's something to do temporary until we get this, this situation fixed. If I don't trust you, I don't trust... I was at his house. <laughs> now... He leaves to go to work. I promise I was not snooping. I just get up and get dressed, look down at, the, at my foot. It's a lingerie tag on the floor. Now, what, what, what am I supposed to think when a few weeks before that, there was a suitcase with women clothing and children clothing? It wasn't mine because it was too big. And I hadn't even taken off any tags no. for lingerie, anything. I know I haven't. So where did this come from? Okay. Now, Let me, where did it come from? It fell out of some bag or something. I don't know about it happened that thing. But, because see, look, I keep these little bags and stuff. Like, when that lady 
quote unquote was staying with me. You know, I moved with my folks, so I haven't really unpacked a lot of my stuff. Mm -hmm. So when I'm looking for stuff, ain't no telling what might come out them bags. Cause I just threw everything in the bag. She she done been there with me. She know it ain't like that. I don't have no women coming over to her house like that. Like All right, that. I, I hear like that. I now I want to talk about the puppy and the payments. Oh. Would you marry someone if there was a 15-year age gap between you? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Now, you came here to get some assistance in talking this man to move in with you. But I guess in the alternative, if you can't get the man, you want some money. Tell me about the $420 you are seeking from Mr. Thompson. Okay, well, we were at a, another barbecue on my family side. <laughs> <laughs> and this, you know, we, we were there, we were having a good time, bunch of people, and this woman comes around with some puppy dogs that she had for sale. Now, we were a little drinking at the moment, so we made a, um, a rash decision, he did, no, and did. I agreed with him. Mm -hmm. We bought this dog. And so now we bring the dog to my house, and he goes his way and doesn't help me with the dog, doesn't do anything. Now, this is a huge dog. I live in one bedroom apartment with two kids. This dog tore up my $90 Rihanna slippers, my <laughs> cell phone charger that just came out, so I had to pay $30 for that. Did all the tore up my blinds and everything in the house. And this this man has wasn't there to do anything, didn't. And when he came back, he just started out told him, he said, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and what about the rent? You're asking for food and half the rent. Tell me about that. Okay, so after that, he says, oh, well, man. he said, he knew I had to pay my rent. This come with the dog. He knew I had to pay my rent. The rent was due, and I knew too, but I was just making a bad decision at the moment, and I told him. So he said he was she being a, a nice decision. guy and said, Baby, you know, okay, how much you need? I will give you $200 for your rent. I said, okay, rent time comes, what does he do? The day of rent, the first thing in the morning, he brings up this ex-girlfriend and her daughter, what he has to do for what? her daughter. And I, I... Mr. Thompson, I would ask you to respond. I don't recall that. Yeah, I, I, m m Mr. Thompson, I would ask you to respond, but there is no need, because you know you're not getting any money from me. You need to quit begging him to come be with you. You need to walk on. Take care of your own business. If he loves you like that, if he's a good dude like that, if you're the woman for him, once you turn your back and walk off, he will walk behind you. But as long as he can continue to do whatever he wants to do while he's barbecuing, drinking, buying dogs, or running around with other women on a cruise ship, no. if you keep begging for him, he's gonna continue to do that. He's got nothing to lose, because you know he's got you on the hook. Don't no. do that. And uh -uh. don't borrow pain by moving it in. Just leave him do his thing, Mr. Thompson. She loves you to death, she wants to keep you. What you need to do is act like you got some sense. You're too old to be out there running around and taking care I'm of all that. I'm not silly. You don't need to do it. Now, with respect to the money, <laughs> let me say this. You two are having trouble paying the rent and then you buy a dog. Money and liquor never go together. When you pick up the bottle, hide the wallet because you don't have enough money or discretionary to pay. You will be broke forever and for always if you don't get it together. Uh, judgment in favor of Mr. Thompson. This matter Thank is adjourned. God. I have remained committed to Santoy because I, I, have, I haven't found any other one better. I know he, he cheats, he does, he lies, he does silly things, but he has always respected me on a certain level, but when we're together, I'm respected higher, and I have never gotten that from anyone else. She wanted a ring in a wedding date. Um, this is gonna be, let's give us about another year or so, you know, so we can get the, a little chance to get to even know so she can build that trust, we can build the trust together.